Recently I went to a bunch of little free libraries nearby my house and just neighboring cities and stuff and I didn't think I was going to find anything because I wasn't finding anything for the longest time. Um, but I did end up finding a few things. First I went with my mom and she didn't find anything she wanted either because although there is a variety of books, it's just, well, I have like a list of a bunch of books that I want to read and so that's like the first thing I look for. And I didn't end up finding anything specifically in my list. It was more so just an author that I wanted to read more of his books. Um, in this case, Stephen King, which is right there, I was excited about because that was my first book I ever found in a little free library that I would actually be interested in reading. I love the horror genre when it comes to movies. Like, it doesn't matter what the horror aspect of it is. I'll pretty much watch it. Like, it could be paranormal or the person being the scary aspect of the movie. Like, it doesn't matter to me in terms of movies. But when it comes to me watching stuff on, like, YouTube, because I watch YouTube a lot more than I watch TV, I mainly watch, like, tri true crime and I listen to scary stories on YouTube from, like, popular YouTubers who will tell stories off of Reddit or something about scary events that happen to them. And typically it is stuff involving like strangers being creepy or, you know, just people, not really like a ghost or something paranormal. Cause I don't know, I just am not really interested in it when it comes to like stories. Cause with movies it's fine cause I have like the visual aspect of it. Um, so I don't know how I'm gonna be with paranormal stuff in books, but I figured I'd give it a try with this one. The majority of this is going to be me doing voiceovers, but there are going to be some clips where I'm talking in the recording, so just an FYI. At this point I started going into actual people's properties, like their houses and stuff, because before the past few Little Free Libraries that I went to in this video, they were at like parks. And I was feeling awkward at the parks, but I felt, if not more, just as awkward in front of these people's yards. Because I mean, there wasn't really that many people around, but it was more so just like me overthinking it and being like, what if they're watching me inside their house and they see that I don't take a book from their li Little Free Library? And I don't know, I just felt awkward and not taking anything. And so I just started taking something I wasn't even interested in, like this book. It was about some sort of like romance or something, I don't even know. But I wasn't really interested in it. Um, but I ended up trading it anyway because um, I was overthinking. But instead of me saying that it was me overthinking, I'm gonna say that I was just helping circulate the books around in the circular economy of little free libraries. I used The Woman 99 as my trading book, but it did sound kind of interesting. I just wasn't really thinking I was ever going to actually read it, but it was basically about this rich woman whose sister gets sent to an asylum, and she follows her sister in there, and she learns that a lot of the people in the asylum don't actually need to be in there, or something like that. I already watched the movies for Gone Girl and The Lovely Bones, so I didn't pick those up. And it's not often that I feel inclined to 
pick up a book after I watch the movie. I've really only done that like willingly, uh, like outside of school, with Coraline because Coraline the movie is my childhood and I love that movie with my whole soul and a few years ago I read the book and there are some differences so that made it more interesting but it was like I don't know because I love the movie so much I didn't mind reading the book but I don't know if I can do the same with a lot of other movies I did not expect for that book to be as heavy as it was. Like, it's clearly big, but it was just heavier than I thought it was going to be. Also, it kept drawing me in. I think it was maybe from the eye contact that I was having with the spine of the book. Me and him just kept, like, staring at each other, and I was like, I don't want to read you, but I'll look inside the book. So I did. It's kind of weird how particular I am though because there's like a true crime addict book right there but for some reason I just am not interested in reading true crime in books but I do like learning about true crime and stuff like that in podcasts, YouTube, videos, and movies but I don't know with books it just doesn't really interest me as much. They got a lot here. And somebody really loves this Peters dude. Um, not seeing anything that I would be interested in per se. Oh my god, another Frankenstein? Oh, that's a cool copy too. Um, but I've already read Frankenstein. What's this one? I don't even know. Um, there's a lot happening here. This one was cute because it was like a miniature version of the actual house. Wow. Okay. There's a lot in here. I see a Stephen King. Here's another one of these. Duma Key. I don't know what that's about, but because it's Stephen King, I'm interested. The child buyer. What? Okay.
I did end up going back and taking the Treasury of American Short Stories. Um, oh my god, there's a lady right there. Oh my god, I didn't realize, I didn't see her. Okay, so the owner came out, and that was really scary. Oh my god, she has it, like, organized, bro. That's actually so cool. Yeah, so I kind of got scared because she came out of nowhere, but she didn't, like, come up to me or anything. In fact, like, every single time I looked at her, we never made eye contact. Um, and she was just getting a package, but I did not see her, and she scared me. Also, Corduroy is my literal childhood. I loved that book and carried it with me everywhere. And so the fact that I found it here, it was crazy. It's such a good book though. It's so cute. These two are stuck together, so I'm gonna leave them Oh, I also read this one too when I was younger. It's cute. Very cute. So I ended up getting The Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. I'm gonna try it out. I know it's kind of paranormal, um, but I figured maybe this could interest me. I don't know. It's in good condition. I was excited to just find something. I'll give it a try. I also found Duma Key by Stephen King. It is a big book, kind of scary, but the cover is so pretty and like the words are holographic. It's beautiful. Um, so I got it and it sounded interesting too. And then this book has a bunch of short stories in it from a bunch of people. So I figured it'd be kind of fun. I don't know, we'll see. This is kind of random, but if you have any song suggestions and you want to share them with the class, go ahead and do that because I am looking for new music because I keep replaying the same ones over and over again and I need more. So, thank you. Bye.